Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and what I have here in this white box is an HTC Aria. Yes, the AT&T Android phone, the other one. There is the backflip, which I never did get my hands on, but I wasn't very interested, frankly. And this, which is made by HTC. And this is a really cool little phone, and little it is. Let me pull it out of the box and show you how small this actually is. So here's the phone, and let me put it next to an HTC Incredible on Verizon. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller. And then let me put it next to the Evo 4G on Sprint. Look at the difference in size there. And finally next to an iPhone on AT&T, iPhone 4. And you notice it's, uh, it's a difference as well. So the point is, this is a pretty tiny, cute, I would say, um, Android phone. And that's why I thought it was really interesting. And it's also got some pretty decent specs. So let me quickly walk you through the outside. Let's get started with the front. You get the usual four Android keys here. The uh, home menu, back, and search keys, as well as an optical D-pad down here, just like the Incredible. Then on top, you have the HTC logo, the AT&T logo, and of course, the speaker grill. Now, starting from the bottom here, you have, I believe, a lanyard attachment, the micro USB port, and the microphone. And on this side here, there's nothing until you reach the volume rocker, plus and minus. And then up here you have the headphone jack and a little nice stainless steel piece with the power button. And again, nothing on the other side. Pretty much standard HTC layout. In the back, you have these kind of interesting fake screws. I'm not quite sure what the point of that is, but they do add some flair to the design. There's four of them. And then, of course, you have the 5 megapixel autofocus camera, no flash, and the speaker back here. Now, as far as the specs are concerned, this is not a Snapdragon processor, so it's not as fast as the Evo and the um, Incredible or the Nexus One, but it's a pretty snappy, surprisingly snappy, actually. And it does have all the features you'd expect, 3G, Wi-Fi, GPS, um, and it uh, has a micro SD card slot for storage and a standard headphone jack, as I've already pointed out. What is also cool about this is that the entire back here, this entire back piece, is this kind of rubberized material that HTC uses. And if I pull the, the cover off, you'll notice that it comes off completely right up to the edge of the screen. And it's yellow, which I think is really, really quite awesome. So let me give you a quick close-up of the inside, yellow insides, translucent at the bottom and solid at the top of the HTC Aria. And as you can see, from the size of the SIM card, this is, shows you how small this phone is overall. And here's the micro SD card slot. And as you can see, the screws really don't do anything. And there's the battery and the camera. And the headphone jack is this black thing right there. So uh, it's pretty interesting. Also notice that there's some sort of antenna embedded in this back cover. I'm not sure if it's one or two antennas with two separate contacts or one big loop antenna. But judging from all these protrusion here, I'd say it's uh, several antennas that are touching these contacts down here. So that's kind of uh, the overall kind of look and feel of the Aria. Uh, let me just turn it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like starting up. And so you have the standard HTC logo and after a little bit of time you have the, um, the Sense UI that will pop up. This is running Sense. Um, one more thing I wanted to say is that, um, so it does not run a Snapdragon 1 gigahertz. It's running an MSN 7227, which is the same CPU found in older Android phones, but it does not mean that it's not snappy. Surprisingly, the user interface is pretty quick. Um, there's actually a sound for the AT&T animation, but I think I have the phone on silent. I've actually been using this since, um, I don't know, a couple of days now. So I had it on silence just now. 
and you can see here the AT&T logo world phone now actually I want to add something to that quickly uh, it's not really a world phone it has quad band GSM for 2G but for 3G it's apparently missing the European band so it doesn't only support uh, 850 and 1900 for for the US and Canada 3G uh, as you can see the display is absolutely gorgeous now it's only a, a half VGA so it's 480 by 320 display it's not 800 by 480 like some of the higher end Android devices and um, as I said other than the radio there's one other major limitation with this, this device is that you cannot sideload apps meaning it doesn't allow you to install apps from untrusted sources most Android devices allow you to put apps on an SD card if you download it from the internet and then install it this will only allow you to install apps from the market now obviously this can probably be fixed with some sort of firmware hack that maybe the Android community will give us. And also, um, the other thing to keep in mind is that it is locked to AT&T, so it would have to be unlocked if you wanted to use it on another carrier. So um, let me show you what's in the box now as well. Now this is this is a review unit of kind of pre not pre-production but the box is not the final box I don't think so I'm not sure if the accessories I'm going to show you are the the final accessories so there is um, a standard micro USB cable here let me show you can't see it very well but down there is the uh, connector uh, data cable and charging cable. There is a charger here that fell out of this little bag. Standard HTC charger. Um, you've seen it before. It's the same charger as the Incredible and as the Evo. And then uh, here you have um, a headset. Um, standard four prong cable. And then uh, you have earbuds um, and a little clip for clipping the earbud, the cable of the earbuds to your to your uh, jacket. Now um, it didn't come with any documentation, but rather it did have a large PDF printout. Um, so as I said, pretty early packaging on this. Um, but overall, I'm really excited about this phone. I even though it's not the highest end device, it, it does have. Um, you know, it doesn't have the fastest CPU, it doesn't have the biggest, highest resolution screen, it doesn't have a flash, only has 2D, 2G band, um, sorry, dual band 3G radio. It is gorgeous and it, it is, it feels really nice, it's premium. Notice how quick it, it, it transitions between screens despite not running a Snapdragon. Um, it's very, very nice and it's a huge improvement over the backflip, which is the other AT&T Android phone that's available at the moment uh, from them. So, you know, I, I will probably take the camera uh, for a little quick run and blog about that. Uh, you know that it's probably going to be a very similar camera to the other HTC 5 megapixel ones like the Hero and the Nexus one. Um, at least I'm hoping it will be and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll keep you posted as to how the camera fares. Um, but yeah, this is, a, this is a really nice and cute little device. Uh, let me just pull out my Nexus one quickly so uh, we can do a thickness comparison. It's pretty thin as you can see. And uh, again, you know, the footprint uh, difference here, it's the same as the incredible, um, roughly this Nexus one in, in the back here. You can see how much smaller of a phone it is. Um, so yeah, this is it. The HTC Aria from AT&T and uh, you can get it now, apparently it's for sale now already. I'm not sure what the pricing is, but can't be too much. I believe it was f available for free on Dell's site for a little bit with a two-year contract. Anyway, this is Tank Girl. My blog is Tank Girl Mobile, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. Uh, keep an eye on the blog for uh, more coverage on the HTC Aria. Um, I'll catch you later. Cheers.